you up real quick while the lens get adjusted, man. Let everybody know who you is, where you from, and what you got coming, if you don't mind. Yeah, go by Bad Vibes. From Beaumont, Texas, originally. DMT. Been in H Town for about 12 years, working on my uh, mood ring project. I don't, know, I don't have an official release date or anything right now, but we got some things in motion. It's gonna be exciting. Man, real quick, talk about the name. How did you get the name? Bad Vibes. Well, initially I was going by Chose. The DJ okay. Chose came by. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> and we you had to change the game on. Had to switch it up. You was going by Chose or Cho? Chose. Chose. How did that, what's that about? Well, I just put it like this. My, my whole thing was chosen for this. Like, I'm music, you know, mm. music kind of chose me. I really didn't choose it. So, mm. so it was just something that was been in me all, ever since I was little. No, I feel that. I feel that, man. <laughs> I appreciate you for rocking with us on the back streets. I appreciate you for rocking your heel, man, on this good Friday night. Beaumont, anybody ain't never been through there, I don't know where it said what it was like for you coming up. Beaumont, yeah. Beaumont got his ups and downs, you know. It's my home, so shoot. I done been through the bottom part of it, I've been through the top part of it, so shoot. It's just home to me. I, I mean, feel that. Uh, from South Park to the, uh, Irving Street, South End, Parawachi. Mm. I grew up around that Gladys, shout out GSP, mm. uh, you know, Magnolia, all I'm that there, so. How far are you guys from, I guess, Orange and P, uh, Port Arthur? How far are you guys from that? Uh, PA, it's about a 15, 20 minute drive. Oh, okay. Far, uh, so oh, okay. Right family out there. Shout out PA. Shout out PA too, man. Port Arthur, Texas, man. Beaumont, cause like I said, we hear a lot about Beaumont and Port Arthur. Believe it or not, it's a lot of talent out there. But is it hard for you? Was it hard for you as an artist to break back home versus being in a big city? Oh, uh, yeah, because, I mean, everybody kind of figuring it out out there. I mean, you got more avenues out here. Okay. I was able to network a little different. But, you know, my ambition is a little bit different, too. So mm. I, had to, I knew I had to step away. I knew moment was going to get me so far. Mm. And I could rub more hands out here. So mm -hmm. I, took, I had to take that leap. Yep. But one can only get you so far. Being in Houston, how long you been down here? You say 12 years. 12 years. 12, 12 years. years. Did you come to the South North? What was home for you? When I first moved, I was on the north side. I was right there, hey. I was on Green's Road. Green's Point, Guns Point, okay. Nah, nah, all of Green's and 59 by the airport. Oh, all the way up by the airport. Then actually. I moved out there towards the Woodlands, Conroe area, and stayed with my business partner, Vic. He was an older cat, but he was in the industry for like okay. 30 years. He tried to help me get, to get situated out here. You know, I, I was hungry, but I had to get reacclimated out here, so stayed over there for a little while, then I found him. Moved to the west side of Houston, I'm way of Cypress, so. Oh, you so, all over this bitch, I feel yeah, that, so. I feel that. I feel that, talk more about the music, what got you started, what said I'm finna pick the pen up, get in this booth and start doing music? Actually, man, music really pretty much is my therapy. Oh, okay. You know, so, I'll, I I kind of grew up around the Pimp C, Bone Thugs and all that stuff. Okay. And, you know, I got family that was signed to Rick Shop, so, like, the whole music thing has been in my blood, like I said. So I just been writing, kept writing, kept coming up with ideas, and I just slowly started getting better and better. Cause I wanted to be different. I ain't wanna have the same sound as everybody else. I feel that bad vibes on the back street. Why not good vibes, man? Bad vibes, bad vibes. Well, I came up with the name cause I right, it's considered black and dangerous. Mm -hmm. I, okay. I, I look at us. They look at us like we black and dangerous out here, just as being a black man. Right. But also even we be intellectually black culture too. So. Like she got a bad, yeah, I, I get you, she bad, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. Just stand right there, since you're speaking on that, what was your whole take on the George Floyd situation? Tough, it's real tough, man, because it's hard, man, walking in these streets on a daily basis. I mean, as a black man or just Peter? Black man, and okay. Peter too, I mean, just, just as an African-American. Okay, I feel it. I, feel I mean, that. Any, any situation can go wrong, especially with us, I mean, his home, cause I mean I grew up back home, back in mm. Baltimore. It was so close when I was a little tight mm -hmm. with the uh, James Bird situation. So oh, I, Jasper, I, yeah, yeah, so I, I yeah. Just, I, didn't, I didn't hear so yeah. much stuff, and then by the Texas right there, so we didn't see and live that stuff. Man, give us, give the streets something about that, cause we see the memes and shit on Facebook. But what is that really racist, and you can't really go through that and shit like that, or is that just myth? Nah, cause. He said. <laughs> we used to play. <laughs> I used to play basketball, so when we go out there for games, man, we always had issues. I'm talking about mm. fights, 
uh, they throwing rocks at the bus and stuff like this. So we had to get down. So we had to be in and out. Of Without telling your age, what I'm, what years? What we think nineties, early two thousand. Early two thousand. Still. God damn, bro. How does that make you feel as far as the music? Do you put that those experiences in your music being that 2021 people kind of feel like we passed all of that? Nah, every, man, everything's a part of me. Everything I go through is a part of me. It's going to stay a part of me. It, it really, everything molds you to who you are. There we go. Much. There we go. Big facts, big facts, man. Talk about the single, man. You've been pushing it. Dirty Diana, RP, Mike like Jack, man. Like What's, Jack. What's that about, man? All right. So then just initially came. I've always loved the song. I just wanted to put my own, you know, switch on it. So, I had my boy Bam, you know, uh, came up with the concept. He he kind of ad libbed the, the the melody along with me. Mm -hmm. and it just came up from there. I, I just love the song, so I just felt like that was the vibe for that song. I feel it. I'm just a fan, a, a fan of music and uh, this the art. How has the mu music grown since AOK? -okay? Pretty good, man. Uh, starting to get some some new eyes on me right now. There we go. Everybody, uh. Some new backing behind me, people want okay. to see me. See me, I have a big sound, big universal sound. You so. really do, bro. You really do. You really, really do. Who, like, what influenced the sound? Cause like I said, you really don't sound like a Texas artist. So what influenced your sound? Uh, listening to everything. Okay. <laughs> to be honest, I, 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 I try to think outside the box and bigger than me. I want, I want me to be bigger than me, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause I see myself on a in an arena it's type vibe, so. I feel it. Were you with Maid Squad or what was that? Maid Squad was something me and me and ET Raw created. Okay. Rest in peace, Raw. Rest in peace, it all man. It's something we created. Uh, it was a project from a, a while back, but mm. yeah, that that was that's what it was. That was yeah, you know, okay. boy having some fun. Did it, did you get a good reception on that? Or? Yeah. Yeah, we did actually. We got some good feedback. We didn't really promote it like we should. Gotcha. We still trying to figure things out. He had his own camp going out. I was still trying to get acclimated in the city, but but we wanted to make some good music together. We just clicked right off the bat. I feel it now. How I got introduced to you was through weight. Chris, my homie, shout out Chris, man, to you. See, that, uh, my homie, man, he put me on you, whatever the case may be. And he was like, Tay, man, you gotta check him out, man. What was that about Way Future Vegas, man? Inspiration, how did that one come about? That was, I mean, we just talk about it a little bit. Actually, Way was a record I wrote a while back. I just didn't have the right track to it. And sat there with uh, Hancho from BLE. Shout out mm -hmm. Hancho, shout out Lil Vegas, my kid mm -hmm. Just sitting there vibing. Uh, I don't know. I just felt like spitting on that song more than anything. It just been showing my, my my versatility. I feel it. Artists, so. I feel it. What's some advice that you can get to these artists in Houston? First thing, man, be yourself. Okay. Always be yourself when you're music. I mean, your own cadence. You'll figure that out. That that comes with the growth. But you know, take time and actually put in money and invest in yourself because nobody else is gonna really do it for you. And I actually look. Heard that from Pimp C two times that I met him, so. Wait, wait, wait. You didn't share that with me. That. Yeah. You met the late great man, Pimp C, man. Like, yeah, just on a brief occasion. Uh, actually, I was in the studio the night. Mm. He recorded the Jeezy disc. No. I was in there that night. I sat there and watched that. History. <laughs> so that, History. That, was, that was a cool experience. You know? Okay. Uh, he had just met 17. He had just picked him up, like, Maybe a day or so prior mm. to from the airport. Mm. So he was I think they were dealing with, you know, whatever situation. Mm -hmm. was. But I was already cool with my boy Bub, Big Bub. Big Bub, okay. Yeah. Man, shout out man, Pimp C Soul. Let me just ask you this, since you brought him up, if he was alive today, do you think you will be proud of Texas as a rap game? Think so, you proud of way. It? I still <laughs> some way. Some way. Yeah. Okay. It, it, it seems still a little bit of a body, you know. Everybody okay. ain't moving but it seemed like the female movement is is, is amazing right right now. we kind of like a hand yeah. now y'all on the hand like <laughs> yeah. whoever got the big big is what it ever yeah. is it's, so, it's crazy to it is really i hate that we don't have a unity because it's like we got some like when we was at the show the other night bro look at all that talent in it that's houston yeah. it's crazy that we don't know uh, you say what there's a lot of dope artists yeah out here. yeah everybody i mean i get it everybody wants they 
want their time and they shine. So I mean, it comes with the territory. I feel like you feel like you that dude, that you that nigga, that shit. You gonna feel that way. I guess you move the way you move. So I feel it. I gotta ask. A lot of rappers been, you know, getting gunned down. Unfortunately, is it dangerous for you being an artist? Nah, cause I don't, I don't even portray a lot of that in my music. Oh, so okay. I try to keep separate. I, I ain't no super thug. I ain't no super tough guy. I'm just a man at yeah, first. So yeah. Yeah, cool, laid back dude, but mm -hmm. you know, it is what it is. Gangsta, gangsta, if it don't, I ain't into all that. So, do you think just playing devil, devil's advocate? Do uh, uh, rappers now they do too much cloud chasing? Some of them. Okay. I mean, some of them just can't separate the business from the street. Yeah. I mean, that's just what yeah. the day is. Some of them trying too hard to force their street life into their life, and that 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 kind of. You are what your tongue bring into this game, so and bring, that, bring that energy. I ain't said so. y'all bad vibes said, but I believe that it's it's power in the tongue, and you keep talking about death. Unfortunately, that shit gonna come to you quicker than one, two, three, or whatever the case may be. What's coming to uh twenty twenty one? We we almost out the year. We what third, fourth month, but it'll be all before we know what you got coming this year. Uh, right right now I got these videos about to come out. I got one with Sunny from uh, TLD. Shout out Sunny. Shout out okay. Sunny. Uh, Ariel Star, I got me and her got a summertime video called Summer's coming out. We shoot that in, on April 24th. I got maybe four to six more videos after that. So I'm trying to shoot, get all these uh, visuals out the way right now. So okay. it's going to be a pretty busy year as far as that go. Getting them visuals out the way. You've been doing music damn near two decades. What's one mistake you see a lot of artists make? Well, my big mistake is listening to the wrong people. Okay. Everybody, what you mean by that? Everybody, Share some bad advice. <laughs> everybody think think they know the business, don't know the business. Mm -hmm. So you Tell everybody you gotta find the right people with the correct information. To actually, get some active people that got shit to lose. Because at the end of the day, you end up losing, wasting time, spending time money, more, time and money more than anything. So. Yeah, me. Nah, for real, for shit. So, so bad advice. Waste listening to the wrong people. Have you ever listened to the right people and did it uh, answer your situation as far as the music? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that's what's helping me get to where I'm at now. Okay. I'm, I'm starting to see the. the Is your following the, big, bro? The fruits of my labor a little bit, so. I mean, shout out to Bambino, mm. ENT, my engineer, and he helped me get my sound right, introducing, introducing me to the right people. Shout out to. Uh, Blase, Blase's been here. Oh man, you know and he do videos too, y'all. He do movies, really. Oh, really. Uh, I feel like I saw last week, well, week before last, I think it was. You had posted the Army Tech Trail, unfortunately, time and passed, then he got gunned down at ATL. What was your thoughts about that? Man, that was that was tough. Because I actually met him. Mm. We uh me and him, 20 Glock, and Blase. We, mm. uh, we all met up at the crib, we used to go hoop. So, you know, we Met him about one good time, but we all spent about four or five hours at the park. Just yeah. Around. So it was more personal. Mm -hmm. I got to see him as a man. Man, more, instead more of yeah. than the artist. So. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. I tell people, if I can chill with you outside of this yeah. music, rap shit, this, you see people as really who they are. Because yeah. I get it. This work for, you know, all of us at the end of the day. So, man, long little Chucky Trill, like I say. You know what I'm saying? Shit is unfortunate or whatever the case may be. Houston is one of those cities. Atlanta is one of those cities. Are you looking to take, to take the music on tour this year, being that pandemic is kind of slowly slowing down? Yeah, man. I, my, my plan is to get back out there and start performing. It's been a while, so I've been really trying to re, rebuild my library up and get some new material out there. Build a new team more than anything. Big backstreet shit, man. Any last minute shout outs you want to send some love to anybody? Uh, let me see, like I said, shout out Huncho, shout out Blase, shout out to my people Fox, Bowman, Texas, you know it's all love, my people, IG, Bad Vibes, B-A-D dot B-Y-B-E-Z, YouTube, Bad Vibes, you know, Chose World, if you Google it. Uh, I was man, I appreciate you for community. rocking with the Backstreets, hey, man, Backstreets are cold. Man, I, I got a funny story, I'm, I think I'm going to put it on the interview. Man, my bro, we was at the uh, fucking TLD show just last week, and I was just standing there, my little lonesome in the mix, and bad vibes say, Cole, tell me. I turned around, bro, I was excited. Like I said, that type of love at the end. I said, man, hit me in the DM, we're going to lock in the interview. He did it, locked in the interview. Here we are Friday night. I tell artists, man, y'all talk a lot, but like, I, I'm sitting in front of a guy who literally. Sunday, last Sunday, here we are Friday. So, bro, it's nothing but love. I wish you nothing but success.